Finally, on the show, we bring you back to Lagos State for the burial of Madame Edith Baby Dibofu, mother of the former First Lady of Lagos State, Mrs. Abimbola Fashola. For two solemn days in the nation's commercial capital, Lagos State, mourners joined the Dibofu and Adeojo family to celebrate the life of their dearly departed matriarch, Madame Edith Dibofu. Madam Dibofu, the mother of the former First Lady of Lagos State, Mrs. Abimbola Fashola, passed away on Tuesday, June the 24th at age 87, leaving behind children, grandchildren and other family members whom today celebrate her impactful legacy and are determined to carry on from where she left off. Edith, baby Debofu, your daughter, who has passed from this light, the light of this world, and bring her to the joy of eternal radiance. Fondly called Mama Ladura, Madam Debofu, a devout Roman Catholic who took her Christian faith seriously was loved by many for her selflessness and generosity. She was a founding member of the Charismatic Renewal of Nigeria and an active leader of the Catholic Women Organization of Nigeria. People die suddenly. But Jesus says, be ready at all times because I will come like a thief in the night at a time you do not expect. So be prepared. Her formative years were spent at the Catholic Convent Primary School, from where she proceeded to Marymount College Agbo for her secondary education. She later had her teacher training at the College of Education, also in Agbo, Delta State. As a career civil servant, she worked with NITEL and retired after 35 years in service as the Assistant Chief Commercial Superintendent. At the commendation service, different gospel artists performed, celebrating a joyful life lived in service to God and humanity. The following day, they all gathered at the St. Dominic's Catholic Church for the Requiem Mass. At Mass, they were joined by more dignitaries who also came to pay their last respects.
actually acknowledge the fact that to give honor to somebody who has lived a life, an exemplary life, is something that is worthy of emulation. Family members will now dance forward for their special thanksgiving. With the kind of faith with which you lived and passed on to you, you will recognize that beyond the darkness of the tomb, there is the light of the resurrection. After the Requiem Mass ended, the family later hosts their guests at the Harbour Point Event Centre. The celebration of life continues at the reception as more guests join the family. An Urobo woman from Umwea in Udu local government area of Delta State, Madame Dibofu, never forgot her roots. She served our nation, she served God, she served mankind. And she's passed this down to the next generation. She's a very peaceful woman and a prayerful woman. All she does in her life is pray. She lived life to the fullest, leaving fun memories and legacies that her family members will forever cherish. Madam Edith Baby Dibofu was born in 1936. She married her husband, Barrister Emmanuel Adiribigbe Adiojo of Ojobadon of Ibadan Oyo State. And together, they had five children, whom today call them blessed. May her soul rest in peace. Well, she will be greatly missed and we celebrate her and may her gentle soul rest in peace and may God comfort the family she left behind. Music